saves the dragon here. It's going to rain like the bejesus out there pretty quick. It's going to be nice. Hurricane, not hurricane, tropical storm. David, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. But anyhow, just came from the mail and uh, we're going to do an unboxing. I got my scan due here. But um, it was on eBay the other night, three or four days ago. But yeah, we, and this came pretty quick. And I was looking at, um, you know, one of my obsessions, which is the Fipple Flute, uh, Flagolette, otherwise known as the uh, Penny Whistle, Tin Whistle. And I saw this one, and it said Generation, but then in the description it said it was unmarked, and it really didn't look like a generation. And I couldn't tell, maybe a piece of junk, who knows, you know. It's, uh, I'll do that disclaimer, but it piqued my curiosity. So, in the mail, I got a package. A little penny whistle in there. So, let's go for it. Let's see what we got. Let's see if... Uh, See if we got a toy or see if we got, you know, an unidentified gem. You never know. We've got the scan do. Here we go. Sheffield Steel one, you know, it's the it's the fancy one. Now I don't have to worry about damaging it because I'm not. You know, I mean it's metal, so I'm a little worried about, you know, damaging the knife if I if I mix, so. Here we go. Oops. Well, if you use the sharp side of the blade, it works better. See? There we go. So, we got that open, and here we go into the package. Oh, it's in a little uh, container. Tin penny whistle. So... It kind of looks like, I'm looking for my glasses right now. There they are, there's some glasses. I covered them up with the envelope. They were right handy. In case I needed them. Oh, let's put the Scandu back in its sheath before that. I'm walking around here in bare feet. And you know me, if there's some way that I can knock it and stab my toe, I probably would. So, the lively sound of the penny whistle has been heard from the earliest times in America, originally made of wood. The mass production of tin plates started in the late 18th century. This is cool. This 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 was worth the uh, the twelve dollars that uh, you know just to have this little information sheet uh, made possible to manufacture these popular whistles in inexpensive tin. So this is like this is like a recreated uh, and that's cool. You know that's cool. On farms and villages and later in the streets of growing urban centers, penny whistlers played the jigs, reels, and ballads that form such an important part of traditional American music. This penny whistle is a musical instrument, not a toy, recommended for adults and children eight years or older. I, do I have to go check my driver's license? No, if I have a driver's license. I'm over eight years old. Jeez, yeah, I could put about us. Sixty-one years on that. So let's get it out of the little plastic here and not because I wanna save this uh, this cool cool little piece of oh, come on, go back in there please, please. This cool little uh, uh broadsheet that came with it. I bet these are the ones that they like sold, sell down to like old Sturbridge Village and the historic Williamsburg and stuff like that. That's exactly what it looks like. Oh, I get. <laughs> Let me run around with these for a couple minutes, and that way I can save the little broadsheet. And I don't actually I want to look at the broadsheet a little bit more because it's got two sides does it fold out no it doesn't but hold the tin whistle pointing down with the wooden plug near your lips as good as wooden because they used to put lead in 
Cover the top three holes with the first three fingers of your left hand. Do the same with your right hand on the bottom three holes. Make sure that you have the holes completely covered, blowing softly at first. Then a bit more force, adjust the whistle till you hear a clear note. This is D on the finger chart. The stronger you blow, the higher it will be the same note on the scale. And we've got a little, we've got a uh, fingering chart. And we've got some music with it for the rose tree. Let's get this thing under the bag and, and toodle the tune on it. Yeah, it, and it's got sort of a crude solder joint on the back, which is kind of authentic. You see it's uh, bent on the ends. There's the wooden plug. So it is. It's, it's a recreation. It's uh, cool. It appears to be drilled right. Um, yeah, and we've got, you know, the holes in different sizes like the instrument should be. It's very light. It's got that uh, antique toy feel to it, which is kind of cool. Let's see what it sounds like. can probably use a little tweaking but it's cool enough let's see and oh my god while I was playing it I thought well let's see if it says who made it if it was made in China or or what because that remember I told you that it said that it had you know no uh, manufacturer's name on it. Can we get a good shot of what that says? It's made by Cooperman in Vermont. And I've got, I've got one of their fifes, you know, their entry level fife that I picked up. And I would love to have uh, one of their drums. They make wonderful rope drums, and they are. They're a very uh, nice, enjoyable, uh, long-running uh, reenactors, you know, historical instrument type thing. And uh, I think what we're going to have to do with this is we'll go out, we'll get some pine pitch, and we'll do some ceilings. See, we get a gap where we shouldn't have a gap. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it needs some tweaking, but it's a Cooperman. Oh my lord! So uh, I'm happy with my twelve dollars from from eBay. And it's conical. So there we go. That's my uh, my little mystery whistle. And I'm very pleased. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm very happy to have a little, you know, Cooperman tin whistle. That's great. I'm happy. So, come on, rain. Crusader Cruiser needs to have a good washing. And oh, a lot of us need to cool down because it was kind of muggy today. So, that's it. So we unboxed a Cooperman from Vermont penny whistle today that I bought 
as a mystery whistle. I'm happy. Thank you, Coopin, for everything you do that makes me happy. I'm the dragon. Onward. <laughs>